Now I want to switch gears. And now I want to look at what's wrong with Christianity today. And for that, we've got to look at a scripture. Deuteronomy 10 and verse 12. And now, Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? You know, that little statement, what does God require? We have a religion today where nothing is required from us. Nothing. Other than I, I invite Jesus into my heart. Yeah, that's, that's it. How do you expect a religion like that to change anything about the character of a man? How do you expect that to, hurt, to occur? You know, what is a religion that requires nothing? Well, how do you expect that to change anything about a man? The man in the mirror, the woman in the mirror. It's not going to change anything. The carnal mind wants to hear, there's nothing you must do. And the carnal mind are the people we're trying to reach. They're the ones that, that we're trying to evangelize. But they have a carnal mind and they love to hear a no law theology. They love to hear that. There's nothing you must do. Deuteronomy 10 verse 12 continues on. It says, to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways. We're dealing with the subject, what does God require from America? To love him, to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. To keep the commandments of the Lord and his statute, which I command you this day for your good. You know, until you acknowledge this, who this is talking to, you can't even have a relationship with God. You have to come face to face that, yeah, there is something that God requires from us. And that's something that, that what God requires is it's missing in today's churches. Like I said, the churches of today, they need to be evangelized. Now, what's wrong with Christianity today? What is often heard is a no law theology. Now, you know, if you've been in church 20 years, you've heard this. You know, that the law has been abolished, been nailed to the cross, been fulfilled, has been done away with, grace plus nothing. In other words, you hear a message that leads one to believe the law is really not that important. And yet the psalmist will say, oh, how I love thy law. It is my meditation day and night. You know, it, the psalmist David realized that the law was not an instrument to save him. It was an instrument that made his life work. And it also pointed out where all the roadblocks were, where all the stumbling blocks were, the law of God. But often what you hear today is a no-law theology coming from the pulpits that dot our land. And that's what's wrong with Christianity. What's wrong with Christianity today? Fact is, Jesus Christ did not build his church on a foundation of lies. Look, if I told you Jesus went to church on Sunday. If I told you Jesus celebrated Christmas, if I told you Jesus celebrated Easter, if I told you that Jesus promised heavenly retirement, if I told you that the Bible teaches the immortality of the soul, if I told you that Jesus abolished the law and nailed it to his cross, I would be lying to you. Okay? So I'm saying Jesus did not build his church on a foundation of lie. What's wrong with Christianity today? Obedience is not taught in a lot of churches today. It's just not taught. Hebrews 5 and verse 9. And being, speaking of Jesus, and being made perfect, he became the author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him. Yet yeah, salvation and pleasing God, you know, can you really separate the two? I know obedience is not what justifies us. It's not what makes us right. But God has no intentions of spending eternity with a pack of rebels. 